Greetings once again. I'm Tommy Underhill and I am the adult ADHD and adult autism count coach at Littleton Couples Counseling. And today I want to talk about the common belief of autism's flat facial effect. Makes people real uncomfortable when those of us don't make eye contact and just sit with sort of a flat face that doesn't express emotions. Two common suppositions, beliefs, stereotypes of adult autism. While these thoughts, beliefs and such about autism can be true for some or many of us, they can also be sticking points in relationships for everybody. I wanna remind everyone that's watching this, a supremely important point about ASD. If you've met one person with autism, You've met one person with autism. The spectrum is an expansive place and everyone with autism can find themselves in their own unique location on that spectrum. Making and sustaining eye contact can be difficult. Non-ASD folks feel more engaged when others make eye contact with them. Think of it as shaking hands when saying hello. Techniques to improve eye contact are best shared in situations where eye contact can be practiced and reflected. Facial expression is another important element of social and cultural communication that can share so much more than words alone. A flat facial effect, regardless of origin, can make others feel uncomfortable. For persons with an anxious attachment, interactions with someone with a flat effect can signify abandonment or invoke fear. Those people might ask, are you mad at me? Do you still like me? In 1975, Ed Tronic conducted an experiment with infants and their mothers that demonstrated the impact of a still face or a flat facial effect that had on how people interact and feel. Even one-year-olds experience physical discomfort when they encounter a flat effect. It's not just putting on a happy face. My son has a t-shirt with nine identical images of Mr. Spock from the original Star Trek. Each face is labeled with a different emotion happy, sad, mad, glad, angry, and so on. I've seen a more modern version with Darth Vader. When my mask is down, you could probably make a t-shirt with my photos too. Every face is the same. Communicating with your face utilizes the same neural pathways as reading others' faces and determining their emotions. As you start to identify how others' faces, others faces present with their emotions, you can then build upon that knowledge and speak with your face. Think of it as kind of like going to a foreign country and picking up a few of their customs and terms to fit in a bit better. A heartfelt grazie mille can go a long way when that is about the limit of your Italian. As you begin to use your new language of facial expressions, you will need to make conscious decisions of when to look happy, confused, excited, sad. and how to make it all work. At first, you might feel foolish that you're being disingenuous with your face. Watch others' expressions to see how you're doing, and if necessary, ask for feedback on what they think you're feeling. Even with adult autism, facial expressions can open a door to enhanced communication, improved relationships, and potentially so much more. If this sounds, feels, or looks like something you're struggling with, give us a call here at Littleton Couples Counseling and let's get you into some coaching sessions that can help improve your life and your communication skills, both verbally and non-verbally. Thanks for watching.